I will extend a helping hand to all in need. You have the power to save lives, more than any other. That's why you have to live. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Look! Over there! Someone on that skiff. I hear waves. Where am I? Am I... on a ship? Finally come to, have you? Feeling better yet? You've got the luck of the tides, you know. Uh, why... can't I stand? My throat... <laughs> Too dry. Easy now, lass. You've had a rough time of it. Drink up. Thank you for saving me. Couldn't well leave you to the fishes. How'd you end up on that little skiff, anyhow? Skiff? I don't know. I can't remember. Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. I'm sorry, but I really can't remember anything. Who I am, where I came from, it's all a blink. Hmm. I know one thing about you, lass. Your name. It's Casti. Casti? How... How did you know that? It's stitched onto your outfit. What's that uniform of yours anyway? Ah, right. Amnesia. Strange to think a person could forget their own name. I have to remember. First things first, I need information. Somewhere to start. It will be difficult to learn who I am. Nevertheless, the crew of the ship should know more about the circumstances of my rescue. I should inquire about that, and the ship while I'm at it. That was very Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. I think that's about all I need for now. Based on the predominant currents in this region of the ocean, it's likely my skiff sets sail from somewhere on the continent to the east. From my exhaustion and the severity of my dehydration, it's fair to estimate that I was adrift for several days. Hold on. How do I know all of this? Not much point in wondering. I should instead thank my lucky stars that I was rescued. Now, to go over what else I learned. This passenger ship embarked from the Brightlands several days ago. Its destination is a large port town called Canelbrine. Perhaps there's someone there who can shed a light on who I am. Ah, yes. These kind sailors brought my possessions to the passenger's cabin. Maybe they can offer some material clues as to my identity. I should sort through them before we make landfall. This satchel... I... recognize it. It's mine. It seems rather hastily stuffed. I must have been in quite the hurry. Medicinal herbs... A mortar and pestle. For preparing salves and the like, no doubt. Well, well. It seems I am, I was, an apothecary. Hmm? What's this? A white flower? Why would I have something like this? Yet another mystery. Land ho! All hands on deck! Sure, you'll be all right, lass. Hard to get by without memories. I've remembered a little. Enough. I was an apothecary. I appreciate your concern, but no need to fret about me. I'll remember the rest in time. That's all. Know the seas, and you'll know thyself. An old sea dog taught me that proverb. May the wind and the waves always find you well, Casti. Thank you, Captain. For everything. Bustling little town. Hey, get a load of her. Huh? She's one of them, isn't she? Yeah, no mistaking it. Causing quite a stir. Oh well. First things first, I need to find clues as to who I may be. I should speak to the people of this town. I might glean some knowledge about my past.
Thank you. That was big. Thank you. That was big. That was big. Thank you. Thank you. It seems I've been given the cold shoulder. In that case, I'll just have to try my luck with someone else. Excuse me, are you all right? What's going on here? Is something wrong with him? He's burning up. We need to get him inside. Looks like sun fever. He's covered in rashes. Rash. Vomiting. It could be the onset of some sort of strange poison. I should have the herbs to treat this. Hold on for just a moment. Step one, lower the fever. Luckily, we caught this sickness in its early stages. Dash of lycanth seed mixed with some of these herbs should do the trick. Good. I still remember my craft, at least. <laughs> there, there. Drink up. Slowly now. That's a good boy. <sighs> the fever's receding. He's sleeping peacefully now. Your work was flawless from diagnosis to treatment. The very model of an apothecary. Thank you, miss. Uh... Malaya, I'm a traveling apothecary. Thank you, Malaya. My name's Casti. Sorry to say, I don't remember much else. I was an apothecary, but what kind I cannot say. I've... come down with a bad case of amnesia. What? Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? 
It seems my hands still remember their craft. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. Who are you? Wait. That blue uniform. It can't be. Get back! Don't you dare touch my brother! What? Senna! Did she hurt you? How'd you sneak in here? What'd you do to him? Calm down. She's an apothecary. She treated your brother for his ills. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries. Heirs apothecaries? What? That blue uniform. That sigil. There's no mistaking it. The whole town's in an uproar about you, witch. Word is, one of you pestilence mongers have been lurking about. Pestilence monger? I don't understand. And I don't care. Out! Out! Let's go, Casty. Who are these heirs apothecaries? I've heard the name before. You have? What sort of people are they? Why was that man so hostile to me? <sighs> ah, what's wrong with me? We have far more pressing business than my lost history. I fear Senna's illness is only the beginning. If I can't identify the root of this sickness, it could engulf the whole town. There's no time to waste. You're going to help them? Even after how you've been treated? Would your time not be better spent treating your own woes? Saving these people comes first. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. <sighs> the very model of an apothecary indeed. Very well. You have my aid. Let's split up and find the source of this sickness. Malaya, thank you. One of those heirs apothecaries, aren't you? We won't let you fool us. I'm sorry, but would you mind telling me about these apothecaries? I'm unfamiliar with them. Don't play dumb. Everyone knows what that little band of apothecaries have been up to on the Eastern Continent. They travel around charging only a pittance for services. But it's all a sham. Their medicine is poison, and they've killed more than they've helped. I even heard they butchered an entire town not long ago. Uh... I don't know what dark purpose drives them, and I don't care. Word is, one of them just showed up in town, and you're the only strange apothecary around here, so... You... may be right. The truth is, I don't know if I am what you think I am. I remember little of my past. A likely story! We're on to you! with you who I was and what I've done I cannot say nevertheless right now all I want is to help the people of this town I'm looking for clues as to what is causing the people here to grow sick please if you know anything tell me <sighs> Mom. 
Marlo, what's wrong? Stop. Get away from him. What's the big idea? He needs help. Or do you want me to leave him there to die? I said step away. He may be contagious. C contagious? I knew it. The symptoms are the same. I need to ease his fever, and quickly. I'll carry him. All of you stay here. There. He should make it now. She... she healed Marlo. Just who are you, really? Help! People are fainting from some sort of strange fever. What in the world's going on? Damn! And of course this happens while our healers are away. Let me treat them. Take this. Good night. Here. Thank you. Good night. Take this. Good night. Here. My feet. There. I've done what I can for now. The sickness is spreading fast. We need to find its source, or there won't be anyone standing before long. Are they... are they better? We're out of the woods for now, but it's too early to breathe easy. I, uh... I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have said what I did. Senna gave me a tongue lashing about it, too. He said you saved his life. I know I've got no right to ask this after how I treated you. But please, save our town, save my friends. I intend to, but I need your aid first. Help me locate the source of this contagion. Huh. Well, I don't know if this will help, but... Earlier today, Senna said the water tasted funny. Hey! Ma said the same thing to me this morning. Really? I boiled some water this morning and didn't notice anything strange. The water? Of course! Maybe those who contracted this illness all drank the water without boiling it first. If that's true, then that must be the source. Fine deduction, Casty. I agree. We draw our water from a spring that flows out of a cavern south of town. Then my course is clear. 
I must hurry to this cavern and cleanse the spring before the sickness spreads further. We're coming too. This is our town. It's our job to protect it. I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I must insist that you stay. Cleansing noxious substances is dangerous work. Stay here and see to your sick. Well, all right. Take care of yourself, Apothecary. Malaya, could you remain here to treat these people? You have a habit of putting others above yourself, don't you? Fine, just come back in one piece, Casty. <laughs> I'll try. The world needs more apothecaries like you, Malaya. I'm setting out for the cave to the south. I'll be back soon. Take this. Good night. I know no cure for evil. Forgive me. My journey will not end here. These bars are broken. 
Something must have forced it. The wellspring is just a little further. You are a poison that must be purged. My turn. Here I go. I know no cure for evil. Forgive me. My journey will not be Foul smell. It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all. Now then, what is it that's made all this mess? Foul vapors abound. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. I think I found the source. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all. <laughs> I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. <sighs> Time to clean up this mess. Fight down! Here I go. What to do? What to do? A 
pinch of this guy. Here I go. I'll purge this infection. will make it all right. This 
great. I require this. Forgive me. Don't think badly of me. That takes care of the root of this illness. All that's left is to sprinkle pure balm leaves around. Liberally. With time, the corruption here should fade. 
there. A dash or two of pure bomb for myself, too. I won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Now, back to town to relay the good news. the source of the infection polluting your waters. The spring will run clean again in time. Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all your water for a good while yet. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're Senna's brother, yes? How is he? Back on his feet, and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? <laughs> Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. Although, I do have one request. Anything. Just name it, Castine. May I borrow your bath? I'm glad our paths crossed. But it's time for me to move on. The open road is called. Malaya, may I ask what it is that compels you to travel? <sighs> I'm searching for a way to cure a terrible disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure, and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Is there anything I can do to assist you? No. This is my problem. My burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. Your memory, for one. I need to know who their apothecaries are. And who I am as well. I can't rest until I know. Malaya, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to know something about them. <sighs> Please, Malaya, I need to know. Tell me, I'm begging you. the power to save lives more than any other. That's why you have to live. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. It 
can't be. I pray your memory returns, Casty. One day. Farewell. In my vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What's going on? Malaya. What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... It was Malaya who put me aboard that skiff. But why? Who or what were we running from? If only I could remember. I need more clues. Something else to go on. A hidden pocket in the bottom of my satchel? A book. Treatment log. In my hands, I held a diary. One I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patients seen. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Sai and Winter Bloom, more notable by far. It's covered with blood. Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. What in the world is the story here? It's time I went on my own journey. This journal is the only clue I have. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. 